Hey, it's me again. So um, I just did the video showing what I was going to use for homeschool next year. And I figured since I have the camera out and um, the kids are next door outside playing and the house is relatively clean, I could show you where we homeschool and kind of what my organization looks like. Um, not that I really have a YouTube channel or do videos often, but I love watching homeschool videos, so I figured I could share what we do. So here we go. I homeschool just at the kitchen table. So the kitchen is here. The dishwasher is going, so I'm sorry if that's loud. Um, and then we just homeschool at the kitchen table. So the quick look, we have our whiteboard number line there above the whiteboard. It drives me crazy because it's not centered, but oh well. Got the ABC chart there. That's our all about spelling progress clock. And this is where we keep pencils, dry erase markers, and the eraser, and then scissors, and then our whiteboard. And then that is just a checklist that I put up there for me. It's laminated and um, it's all the stuff that I need to get done each day or it says like two days a week or whatever um, and I can check it just with a dry erase marker um, and I'll have to do a new one for this next year. And then that's kind of our little cart where we keep all of our school books and our markers and things like that. So I have the CD player, a little caddy that I can just grab and put on the table. And that's all about spelling, cards, you know, sharpener. And then each drawer, um, kind of the top drawers have like our books and stuff. So the top drawer has their scripture stuff that we do which we need to finish up and then next year we're going to do something different so these will be different next year and this is just their math books that they've been using this year and we, we have a few more lessons so we're still going just trying to finish up with math so they, there are two their Explode the Codes books that they're working on and the teacher's guide in here so that those I can just grab when we need them all of the all about spelling tiles and book and the phonogram CD. Um, these are little journals that we use. We we can do copy work in here, dictation. We do our all about spelling words in here, and then they like to just draw a picture. And it's you know they do their spelling words and they draw a random picture, but it keeps them excited. So that's what we do. And then these ones down here are my daughter's. This is her math books. This is like her alphabet notebook. Some random like color by letters. Another alphabet book, which is just like a coloring book, but it's find the letter. So we, we, you know, we might randomly do that. If we're doing a letter, we might pull out that and color. This is also kind of my daughter's just got this at Costco. Paper playtime. It's just like cut out and a paste type thing. Um, pasting jigsaw puzzles. And uh, you know she just loves cutting. She likes to do stuff when the, the boys are working so she has to have something. Spill the code. Um, we've done pretty much this entire series from Rod and Staff and she's almost done with this one. Just at the very end. So that's that. And then as you can see, I have them labeled down here what's in them. So we've got crayons, we have our tape and our glue, and it also has um, hot glue gun, which they're not allowed to use, all of our paints, mm, miscellaneous like activity books. This is a miscellaneous version of the game. And, um, markers, colored pencils, and like handheld pencil sharpeners, our do-a-dot paints, and chalk. Um, random notebooks that they just 
color. We'll bring those to like church and stuff so that they can doodle um, staplers. So that's that storage. Um, so again, just the kitchen table, that's the storage there. I have another little chart over here. This is what needs to be cleaned in this area. I have these kind of posted throughout the house. Like these are your checklist for cleaning the kitchen area. This is their, they can earn a candy every day. So that's their list of things they have to do to earn a candy, which is pretty simple. We have a calendar in the hallway there that I'm currently making new um, numbers for. I'm finally laminating these. I've had these for like three years and I'm finally laminating them. And then we've lost quite a few of the month ones as we've moved. So I just thought I'd print out some new ones and make some new ones. So they're going to be planets. So hopefully that'll help us learn the planets too. Two birds with one stone. So that's the hallway. That's our family home evening chart that, you know, that has a, these are velcro on. So who gets to do the opening prayer? Who gets to do the music, the scripture, the lesson, the thought, activity, treat, and closing prayer? So I have like three on here, so I get most of the jobs, but um, family home evening, that's goes with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Every Monday night, we're encouraged to have a family home evening where we gather and have a lesson and an activity and stuff. So that's that. Living room over there is our book basket for the library. So all of our library books are there. And I like to keep, so it's a kind of like, not really messy, but um, like our teacher child to read in 100 easy lessons and like our pathway reader book are usually underneath that table so that when we sit down we sit down on the couch when we do our reading lessons they're right there and this is attached to the kitchen the kitchen's right there this is my um my bookshelf where i keep all of our homeschool materials this is random organization this is just randomness but these are ink pads these are little books we do sometimes we go well, what do they call it I can't think of the name of it right now um, it's where you go it's kind of like geocaching but you go and you find a stamp so at the location there's a stamp and you put it in the book and this one we did at the Farmington Canal Trail in Hamden, Connecticut in 2013. So we each have a book. It's just like where I keep those in our stamp pads because if we are looking for some sort of adventure and we don't know what to do, we might decide to go on a hike and do that. Um, so that's where I keep those. And this is just more random like office supplies. These are their books that they've completed from last year. I'm going to have an evaluator come, so I have them all together. These are our books for next year. A big old jug of glue. Just random stuff. These are our flashcards. Some more art supplies. You get the gist. And again down here at the bottom. My laminator. This is full of pipe cleaners and rainbow rice and a bag of beans for whenever we want to do like a sensory bin. Coloring books. Alright, the light's not great. Play-doh, pom-poms. And then right there is my computer printer. Um, I keep paper in this thing. My three ring punch is in there construction papers in there and like my um file folders and sheet protectors and stuff I keep my daughter's eye patches that she wears every day right there so that we remember to do it every day another bookshelf with lots of board games 
My kids love to play board games. Um, and that's mostly like my husband's books. And then this gets into just these books I got all these random ones I got from the neighbor whose mom is a retired teacher so I just grabbed a ton of them because like dinosaur books and um you know what's that one welcome to the greenhouse this one's on pyramids and pharaohs insects eagles I mean, it's just <laughs> kind of like a treasure trove of amazing things, rainforest. So these are things that we can pull out and use um, whenever we need to. So, and here's some just books that we've read. Well, we read some of them. We read Charlotte's Web and Chocolate Touch, and or that we will read, or that I know that they'll be able to read at some point, so I don't get rid of them. But so that's that. Um, See you guys later. Bye.